this new journal really for me is actually a book that uh, brings together practice and theory, and it's a fantastic resource. I think this journal uh, tells its own story, and it tells a very important part of the story of the Northern Ireland uh, peace process, and it tells the story of what civil society, what community groups uh, have been doing over the years, what this collection embodies is really what we talk about when we say it is a peace process. It's the process stuff, the hard stuff, the stuff that takes a really uh, long time. And it's not just about putting structures in place like new political uh, institutions, uh, but it's about that grassroots work that really recognizes uh, the very deep pain and hurt uh, that still exists uh, within the society. So there's also some excellent examples of the varying degree of participatory arts in the submissions for this year's journal, um, from participatory photography to theater, poetry, um, interactive installation work. Kind of the first thing to note about reconciliation is there does seem to be two uh, definitions of the term. The first is probably the one we know the most um, to restore a person to friendly relations with oneself or another. Um, and, but the second one I wanna suggest is also uh, uh, relevant here and it's to bring a person into a state of acquiescence with acceptance or submission to a thing, situation or et cetera. The importance of that community level dialogue um, is vital in order to move the peace process forward. So to recognize that work that women are involved in is particularly important. For me, there's about three or four aspects to legacy and particularly in the Irish situation, the legacy of violence. It's the impact of the violence on this generation or on future generations. And there's no doubt uh, that we, we have to work through uh, the, that impact, the, the social, the psychological, the emotional, the historical, the political uh, impact. So we have to uh, learn the lessons uh, of the past. And we have a huge burden of history here uh, that goes back uh, uh, generations. The phrase which frightened me a bit, which was really about taking the peace process for granted. but. In some senses, that really is what, what appears to have been happening recently. And in, in, in a way, the political process is our context because we have the difficult issues of Brexit. We have calls for a border poll. We have, this is the centenary of the, 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 the um, formation of the state. And I suppose, why does this matter? Matters because of the lost lives. And the terminology that was used by people today, I actually find um, excellent in a sense because it really brings us to what it is we need to be addressing. We have been very privileged in this project to walk a journey with the people who have uh, been most harmed and we will continue to do it.